My name is uh, V.A. Subramanian. I'm a cardiac surgeon. I've been in practice uh, since 1972. In 2012, I was practicing at uh, Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. I invented the minimally invasive coronary bypass surgery in 1994. I visited India many years to come here and teach cardiac surgeon how to do minimally invasive coronary bypass as well as other type of cardiac surgery. An off-pump bypass surgery was uh, taught by me here which has become the primary way of doing coronary bypass surgery in India. Yeah, functional mitral regurgitation is the largest type of valvular heart disease uh, for patients, in patients. It's bigger than the aortic valve disease. And there's roughly about a 1.6 million people who have a symptomatic severe mitral regurgitation in the United States, another 1.6 in Europe, and globally, rough to about four to five million people are suffering from this. So only 2% are treated now surgically, mainly because it is time consuming, a little bit more invasive, and somewhat questionable effectiveness. So we went through all of the uh, issues about what we have today, and what we can look forward to improving the treatment for functional mitral regurgitation. This happens mainly because people who have coronary artery disease a heart attack, and that's fundamentally the single most reason to develop this mitral regurgitation. The other reasons, some people with the diabetes develop a bad heart function very quietly and silently, and these people also have a lot of mitral valve leakage. And this is an extremely important epidemic is going to come within the next five or six years, even in India. And today the surgical treatment is improving, and. Uh, uh, my own contribution is developing a new way of treating this with a device called Mitral Bridge. It is easy to put in within five to ten minutes by minimal invasive surgery. And it's also being developed to be put through a catheter. And this will be probably available in 2018. The surgical device is going to be available in Europe by next week. A lateral mid-cap is uh, people who have uh, coronary artery disease. The most common disease is in the front arteries and the back arteries also have a disease. Most patients have a multi-vessel disease. That means more, or more than one artery is involved. But what happens is that some patients get stents in the back part of the uh, heart. That artery gets clogged. It's the most difficult one to do by stenting. And many of these patients have, still have symptoms and currently they are not approached by an operation going through the side of the chest because everybody wants to do a, a big incision in the front of the chest. And uh, so we have now developed over the years a technique where we can go through a smaller incision underneath the scapula, about three inch incision to get into the thoracic cavity and do bypasses into the back part of the heart with bringing the graft from the aorta and that part of the chest into the coronary arteries. Again, this is done with no hotling machine and is done on a beating heart. This has been very effective and the stents also don't work very well in this area. This is largely undetected or not treated in India currently because this type of technique has not been widespread and has been taught very well so far. So we are here to demonstrate tomorrow how you can do that so that it will serve a lot of people in this country. So most people who have a heart attack, you know, you know that heart attack uh, uh, could be treated by uh, clot-busting enzymes or having an urgent angioplasty with a stent. That only restores the blood supply to the surface of the heart, but the muscle still dies. So the muscle then bulges, what we call as the big balloons, the tip of the heart, and that becomes an aneurysm. And the people have a heart failure because of that, because the heart doesn't pump. And this is currently right now it's treated by going in the front of the chest and the aneurysm is repaired by going on heart lung machine, open the chamber of the heart, then you put a barrier inside the heart so the bulge is taken care. But that's a very invasive operation for somebody who's got a heart failure who needs this done. Many patients will have a very isolated left ventricular aneurysm from the heart attack from the front part of the artery. Now this could be approached by a minimally invasive approach by again a two or three inches incision 
in the front part on the side of the chest, on the left side of the chest. And again, you can put these patients on the pump by putting cannulas in the vein and the artery in the leg, in the groin, and then open the aneurysm and repair it very effectively. So this is again an adoption which could increase in India because people don't know how they can do this. And currently, I think most people are not treated because it's an invasive surgery. And a cardiologist cannot help on this because there is nothing in the catheter wise to help the aneurysm. They can do angioplasty, but that doesn't help the aneurysm.